Hello, this is Bob Hollis with the Mobius Network, and today I have a brief demo on how to create smart groups and use them for a voting application where voting is determined by the county and uh, that determines the district in which a voter resides. So I've, uh, I'm working with Civi CRM 4.0.6 on a Joomla 1.7.1 platform and I've logged into my Joomla administration control panel and if I go to components Civi CRM it takes me to the Civi admin panel and from here I'm going to create my smart group so in this case I want to create a district that includes a couple of counties and I'll start with search builder and I want to include any individual whose county equals Marin. I also want to include any individual whose county equals Contra Costa. and that should do it for this demonstration purpose and when I do a search it pulls up two individuals and uh, other than me these are all just demonstration names I've put together for this tutorial uh, so now that I've got this this group here I want to select them and the actions are to create a new smart group and you can see again our smart group included anybody in those two counties and we'll call this district for demo Marin Contra Costa just to make things easy and that's a mailing list and we'll save this smart group and now that we've saved that group we can go back and verify who's in there going to contacts manage groups and we want to look at demo 4 Marin Contra Costa pull up contacts and you see that we've got again the two people here who are living in those two counties or at least listed as those two counties now what I want to do is create a mailer that would be for a ballot mailer so if I go to mailings new mailing and here I'm going to select the group and we'll just call this demo ballot 4 so this would be a mailer to all of the people who are in District 4. And I could also say to only include people who were members of specific groups. So you can exclude current members or include uh, current members. So in this case we would put current also to make sure that only those people are able to vote. But I know if I do that, in this case, uh, none will meet the criteria, and it won't uh, serve the purpose of our demonstration. So moving on, now that I've got the group that it's going to go to, click Next. And here I just decide if I want to track click-throughs and option opens. I can also track replies, and this determines visibility, who's going to be able to see this email and I'm going to say user and user admin only and next and here's the from address and my reply to will be the same and use template we'll do the demo ballot template and we'll call it district 4 demo ballot and you can see we'll just change this to 4 
and there's our mailer ready to go out in HTML format. You can see you've got uh, standard WYSIWYG options here for cleaning up the style. You can insert photos or headers, graphics, anything you like. You can also insert tokens, which would be the equivalent of a, a mail merge field. So you can put people's individual names or whatever you like to include there. And a plain text option here. Select your mailing header, mailing footer and click next and here's where you would normally do a test mail I know already that uh, this is just set up with some fake names and and all of my email addresses so I know where this is going to go so I'm fine with that so I'm gonna click next and now instead of send immediately I want to demonstrate how the automated cron job process works so I'm going to dis, uh, unselect Send Immediately, and I'm going to schedule this mailing. But for purposes of our video, I'll schedule it in the very near future. So it's now 11.04 uh, Pacific Time. The server is on Central Time, so that would be 1.04 AM. I'm going to set this for 1.07 AM and uh, that'll give us about three minutes and we'll submit this mailing and you can see it's going to go to two recipients oh. I guess that's uh, too soon so let's see ten Oh, still having a, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that I had actually corrected my server time. So I can use the real time here. So 11, we'll say 07. And that will give us about two minutes. Oh, here's the problem. It should have been AM. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can clean this up in the editing. Ah. And of course that would be tomorrow. Let's try one more time here. Okay. Now, you can see that we've got a scheduled mailing in here, scheduled to go out at 1.07 a.m., and the current time is uh, 1.06 a.m. Central Time. So we'll leave that sit for just a moment and uh, take a look at the way the groups are set up. So when you go back to Manage Groups, Groups can be created for anything related to access levels or for uh, different memberships, including committees and um, different states. And access level controls can be set up so that people only have access to those particular groups. So if you have a large organization with different state members and you want the administrators for each state to only be able to ad administer the group, the people that are part of their group, then that can be set up through CVCRM access level controls that prior to uh, this version uh, did not exist for Joomla. Joomla 1.6 uh, on has uh, additional access levels that can be created and this version of Civi also is compatible with that so that Joomla access levels can be synchronized with CVCRM access levels. So let's take a look at our drafted unscheduled mailings. And you can see that we've got uh, two. Oh, I'm sorry. We should be looking at scheduled and sent mailings. Okay, so you can see that our demo ballot 4 has gone out. And if I check email, here it is. So, whoop, 
I'm sorry, wrong, uh, wrong message. Okay, here we are. So district demo ballot four has been received and uh, this is HTML. It converted the graphic a little bit funny. But anyway, that's how it works. Now, again, I was part of this district because of my county. So let's say that I come in as a member and I log in on the front here so I can go in and edit my account. And now, instead of living in Contra Costa County, I've moved and I now live in Alameda County. So I update my information. And now, when the administrator goes to search that group again, to see if I'm a voting member for that particular district. And we see here's District 4, Contacts. You can see that Bob Hollis is no longer a part of District 4. So basically what you do is you set up a smart group for each of your districts that includes each county in the district then you set up a mailer that only goes to members of that smart group who are current members and that's how you can uh, cons consistently keep your voting records up to date and make sure that ballots are only going to people who are supposed to get ballots um, there's also a membership update feature and we'll go through that in a different tutorial again if you have any trouble uh, it's bob at the mobius network dot com thank you